Hi, this is Justin and welcome to Simple Believer TV. This channel is for those who desire to better understand who God is, who they are to God, and how to walk out this Christian life. I'm here to simplify the scriptures to better help you run the race that God has called you to run. So thank you for being a part of this community. Thank you for subscribing. Enjoy today's teaching. Hi, this is Justin and welcome back to Simple Believer. And today we're gonna to talk about negativity. A uh, negativity is rampant, it's all around us and it has influenced every one of us without us even realizing that we maybe are seeing things from a negative perspective. Uh, it happens to each and every one of us throughout the course of our lives, but I see it growing greater and greater and greater of the focus of our days, the focus of our attention is being moved toward negativity rather than uh, positivity. And one of the statements I love to make, and not everybody agrees with me, is that there is no negativity in heaven. You see, God doesn't see life from a human perspective. He doesn't see it from a present toward the future perspective. He sees what is to come, and then he's able to now uh, view what we're facing today in light of what he's already seen tomorrow. And so that's why it's very hard to grasp that idea that there's no negativity in heaven um, because he sees things from a completely different perspective. But first and foremost, I think it's important for us to understand if we're going to become positive people, if we're going to become a people that sees things from a place of faith and sees things from a place of hope and sees things from a place of, um, I can see God working. It begins with understanding that our negativity comes purely and first and foremost from a lens that we are wearing. If you think about wearing sunglasses, sunglasses cause you to see life from a particular perspective. Maybe it's extremely sunny out, you put on sunglasses and it dims the sunlight that your eyes are seeing. And many times we live with those types of glasses that we put on negativity. Maybe it came from your upbringing. Maybe it came from the way that your parents saw things or the way that you were spoken to or the life experience that you faced as you were growing up. And so maybe those adopted, maybe you had some traumatic experience happen in your life. And as a result, you just put on these these, uh, this lens of negativity and you started to see, I can't trust people, uh, God doesn't come through for me, life is not the way that I hoped that it would be, and today is a bad day. But is it possible to become a positive person without losing a realness factor? Is it possible to become a person that doesn't have bad days? Think about that for a second. Is it possible to see life from a perspective that there are no bad days, whether it rains and whether it snows, whether it's sunshine or whether things are going well, is it possible to be a person that has no bad days, that has no negative days in their life? And I think it's important to understand this, that when whatever lens you are seeing life with, whatever lens you have been uh, using to see life with, a lens will always attract to prove that that perspective you're seeing from is right. Now think about this for a second. If that's the case, that whatever lens you have is attracting to you the things to prove that that's true. So if I have a lens of negativity, I start seeing negativity all around me and I start seeing certain things happen. I go, see, I told you so. See, I told you so. See, that happened because I told you so. And we start attracting to that lens, whatever it is to prove that that lens is correct. I watch it with people all the time growing up as kids and educational system, I'm no good at math. And so they put on this lens that I'm no good at math. And so they get an F and they say, well, look at that F proves that I'm no good at math. No, that F proves that you see yourself as no good 
at math. You look at different uh, areas of life. Uh, I never have a good relationship with the opposite sex. And so you consistently are attracted to certain things that uh, lead to drama and lead to pain and lead to breakup. And they go, see, I told you so no guy is good for me or no guy ever will ever treat me right or you know what all men are certain or this way or all women are certain or this way and so our lens now attracts to prove that our lens is correct and so it's a justifying thing but how do you begin the process of becoming a positive person i'm not just talking about positive thinking i'm talking about seeing life from our father's perspective from seeing life from a faith perspective and not a this is what I see perspective. Can you become a person that actually sees life from a faith or positive perspective? I think the first step that we need to take is it, we must have that desire to see life differently. Maybe some of us are so caught up in our ways and justified with the way that we see things that we don't even have a desire to change the way that we see it because we think it's pointless or we think that you were seeing things rightly. But if you are experiencing a high level or consistent level of negativity, I think it's time to really uh, adjust that and say, okay, you know what, maybe I can see things from a different perspective. Uh, the second thing that I think the step that we take is just to recognize, acknowledge, I've become negative. I've put on the wrong lens. I see people from a negative perspective. I see our nation and I see our world and I see Christianity or I see the church from a wrong negative perspective that any time I look at it, I feel cynical or I start to judge or I start to um, hold a strong opinion against. Uh, you, you begin to recognize and acknowledge I've become negative. I put on a wrong lens. Um, the third step that I'm thinking of is you have to lay down a victim perspective. You cannot actually enter into becoming a positive, faith-minded individual until you are willing to lay down a victim justification. Let me help you understand what I mean by that. Is I remember in 2017 a simple phrase that I felt the Lord drop into my spirit and it was this. I am never a victim, but I always overcome. Now, this was on the, the heels of being victimized, of being um, wrongly treated, of, of, of not getting something that was promised to me. I had to accept this, this simple thought that I felt like the Lord set me free when I, when I made this statement, I am never a victim, but I always overcome. What it did is it empowered me and it liberated me from thinking, oh, woe is me. How could that happen to me? Why didn't this happen to me that was promised to me to, you know what, I'm not going to play a victim card, but I will overcome by the Spirit and by the grace of God. And the moment I was able to acknowledge and to release myself from accepting a victim sense or a victim feel with what I was facing, I was liberated. I was liberated to see life not from a place of what it's done to me or what it needs to do to me or what it owes me, but I saw life from a place of God's got my back. I'm an overcomer and this I shall overcome and this too shall pass in my life. The fourth step that I wanted to share with you is it's now about to receiving a new lens. It's about saying, God, how do you see this particular situation. God, what can I see in this that I'm not seeing from your perspective? God, how are you working behind the scenes? And one of the things that has helped me tremendously is these simple understandings that God is always good, he always has my best in mind, and he's always setting me up to succeed. That means that if I filter my day and my circumstances, the weather, uh, things that have been done wrong to me through, God is always good, he always has my best in mind, and he's always setting me up to succeed. It doesn't matter what I go through, what I'm facing. Once I filter it through that filter, that lens of God's goodness, I come out on the other side full of faith and full of hope. Now, I can be real with what I'm going through. I can struggle through what I'm going through. But at the end of the day, I don't see life from a negative perspective. I start seeing it from 
man, God, you're always good. You always have my best in mind and you're always setting me up to succeed. Uh, the last two things that I wanted to finish off with uh, in the final steps is now you begin to renew your mind to a new lens. And so as I share that lens of God's goodness with you, I now begin to renew my mind. I go through a particular situation. I'm struggling with somebody that hurt me badly. And I say, okay, God, you're always good. You always have my best in mind and you're setting me up. So God, I'm gonna renew my mind according to this circumstance and see that this circumstance is somehow, some way going to be used to work for me so that I can succeed at what you called me to do. And now I look at problems differently. I look at people differently and I look at God differently. And that's why I wanna encourage you is this lens shift comes with renewing your mind according to this new lens just like you did with negativity. You renewed your mind to justify the negativity. Now we're renewing our mind to justify the goodness of God, the promises of God. And lastly, it's so important to now guard your heart. Solomon said, above all else, guard the heart because out of the heart flows the issues of life. If you wanna remain in a place of faith and remain as a person who is positive, it's important that you don't let certain things in. Don't let certain news in. Don't let certain conversations in. Don't let people and negative people around you keep on speaking into the soil of your heart. Don't allow that to now come in. Now, there's certain realities that we need to address. There's certain people in our life that are speaking honest truth to us. I'm not talking about denying anything that is bad or not positive. I'm talking about not allowing it to cause you to see life from a negative perspective. There's sometimes we have to deal with our crap and we have to deal with things that we're going through and we have to address issues that are hard and that are challenging. But I guard my heart from becoming or seeing a negative perspective. I guard my heart from putting on the lens of seeing life from a cynical perspective. And I start to actually put on this new lens of God's goodness and God's promises and I start seeing things from these new lens of who I am to God and who he is to me. And I start to go, okay, God, help me now to think like this. I wanna think according to this lens because it's this lens that will cause me to become the person that God has called me to become. I know there was a lot of information today. I, I hope that you were able to um, process it, digest it, and uh, please, Man, like this uh, video and share it with somebody that maybe you know needs a little boost in their positivity for today. But remember this, God is always good. He always has your best in mind and he's always setting you up to succeed in what he's called you to do. That's the beginning process of seeing life from a positive perspective. Have a great day and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.